Well, it's been a while, so today we're going to try to get another cut done. Hopefully we can do that. I don't know who, I don't know what, but let's give it a shot. So nothing off the back. Keep the mullet look. You kind of want like a... Yeah, the same thing all the way back like that. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's sit in our guideline. If I talk to myself, I'm just talking to the, yeah. the camera, you know. So you wanna Keep it kind of low down here to not dig too much into that. This is definitely not your average haircut, huh? <laughs> it's a little cooler than most people. Yeah. Now we want to take some weight off all this. Just doing this with a two. And back here, kind of flick out so we don't dig into the mullet. Son. Again, you need to kind of flick out. sure everything's even all right now the bulk's gone set in our guidelines no guard open let's go up about a half inch and back here you can keep it probably about a quarter inch guideline because you have a shorter area to fade. And then you just knock this line out. Make sure you use your corners. This is the one guard open, 
same thing, half inch, guideline. Close it to soften this line. I'll probably look like a retard, huh? Talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is a one and a half to blend into the top. And then we just go back down. One open. Kind of use your corners to blend out this line. And then the line between the one and the no guard, use a half. Corners, kind of blend it out. Definitely use your corners. And then you might have to go back with your one guard and touch it up in areas, but that's basically the gist of it. And back here you kind of have more freedom To mess up a little bit. And now we're just gonna detail areas I see. Make sure you use your mirror to look. And then around the crown, we'll go back with sheer over comb. Look in the mirror again, make sure everything's looking good. And then we'll move to the next side. This haircut should typically only take you about 20 minutes to do. And then we do basically the same steps on this side. Again, keep your guy lines a little smaller back here. Uh, there's actually two And once you bust this line out, you do one again, open. And then the one and a half, blend it to the top. And then we're gonna start detailing. One. This is a one open. We're gonna go back and knock 
the line out from the one and a half. It's a little dark down here, so play with your lever. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Oh. This is the half. This we're just taking that last line out between the no guard and the one. Check the mirror. And this side blended out pretty well. Pretty easy. You just gotta find yourself a process and stick with it. So now you wanna make sure this is even back here, both faded, decent. Looks good. Saturate the top. So he kind of pushes his hair to the side a little bit. He doesn't want any length off here. Just a little bit off the top here. Around the crown area, a lot of people will use clipper over comb. I like to use shear over comb. So I'll show you how I do that. But here, you gotta place your fingers straight up and down. And just get rid of that bulk. And then down here, to get rid of some of that, you could use clipper or shear. I prefer shear. You don't wanna take a lot off here. So just kind of That's about it And we're just doing a trim on the top So this is very exciting He's kind of balding up here too, so. And then we're gonna do the same thing, keep your fingers straight up and down to get rid of the bulk on this side. I did, but it didn't have nothing to do with that. I'm not gonna show you because it's the same thing. And then either use shear or comb back here, do the same exact thing. Perfect, so there's gonna be a little weight here. All right, now to blend this in. You just raise your comb straight up. Oh, 
Uh, this is a little long here. So we'll take a little bit of that length off. And we're gonna dry it, because dry hair never lies. Make sure it's pretty dry. All right. So we still have a little bit of detail work here. So you never want to send a client out with wet hair because when they go home, that's when they find stuff. Basically it. And we can still do some detail work. Especially if you've allotted 30 minutes for your client and you got done early, don't just kick them out of the chair. Kind of go back and detail everything. back here this isn't we just kind of want to clean all that up we attempt to do the V look on it but nobody really sees it You like a dry or wet look. Mm -hmm. Which one? Dry or wet? Uh, dry. Dry. So we're probably gonna use the Suavecito Strong Clay. This stuff is really, really tough, so you only need like that much. Get it in your hand good, heat it up. A little textured look in the back. Then once you think you're totally, totally done, go back one more time and look at everything. Before I styled it, this side looked good, but if you see here, there's a lot of weight. So we'll go ahead and fix that. See all that there. And there we go. That is a burst fade mullet. Comb over with no part. I guess that's what you'd call it, right? Mm -hmm.